God bless you, loved ones. Welcome to the Word with Chester. Today we'll begin study in the 10th chapter of the book of 1 Corinthians. God bless each of you. I thank God for you that are logging on. I'm asking that you pray for me and pray for this ministry that God will continue its success. Pray for me that God will anoint me for his service and word my mouth so that each word come with power and the anointing of the Holy Ghost. My name is Chester L. Figures Sr. and I, I would that you mention my name in your prayers when you get up in the morning and before you lay down at night. Well, shall we begin our study today in verse 1 of chapter 10. Moreover, brethren, I would not that ye should be ignorant that all of our fathers were under the cloud and all passed through the sea. Well, uh, the Apostle Paul didn't want his brethren to be ignorant of what he's about to say. And when you, uh, Paul used this term many times, I don't want you to be ignorant. What he's all actually saying is I don't want you to be unlearned about this. I want you to be in the know. Uh, it's not a bad thing to be ignorant, but it's a bad thing to know that you're in ignorance and stay there. So we should come up above these things. And Apostle Paul said, I don't want you to be ignorant uh, that... Uh, uh, that uh, ye should uh, that all our fathers were under the cloud and all passed through the sea. He's making reference when uh, uh, they exited uh, Egypt. Uh, well, God uh, spared their lives and opened up the Red Sea, and they could walk through on dry land. And then being led by the cloud, and then a pillar of fire by night. You have to uh, uh, get the picture. Paul is making reference to that uh, uh, as we continue reading in verse two. And were all baptized unto Moses uh, in the cloud and in the sea. Uh, what he's talking about uh, when the Red Sea was divided. Uh, verse 3 reads, And did all eat the same spiritual food when God gave them manna in the wilderness. Uh, verse 4, And did all drink the same spiritual, spiritual drink uh, for the drink of that spiritual rock that followed them, uh, and that rock was Christ. Now, now uh, uh, you have to grasp that, a rock that followed them. Uh, well, uh, although Christ, uh, uh, Jesus, uh, 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 the Christ, the anointed one, was with God in the beginning, and I'm not going to go through a whole uh, uh, long, drawn-out uh, section here to try to prove that point. If you've been listening to us from the beginning of this ministry, you know what I'm talking about. And those of you that are just now starting to listen, it would benefit you to go to our archive sessions and, and, and listen to all of them so you'll be brought up and, and know what we are talking about. Uh, uh, verse 4 reads, and did all drink the same spiritual drink from, uh, for they drank of the spiritual rock that followed them, uh, and that rock was Christ. Uh, Christ followed them. Uh, well, Jesus was not born to, uh, for many years after that, that the children of Israel uh, uh, was delivered from the land of Egypt. Uh, 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 many generations passed from that time before Jesus was born uh, as a man child. But uh, that's the reason Apostle Paul said the rock that followed them uh, uh, and that that uh, rock was Christ. And verse 5, but with many of them God was uh, not well pleased, uh, for they were overthrown in the wilderness. Uh, don't you fool yourself. God is just not pleased with everybody. Uh, and you can't say that he is uh, uh, or was at that time about uh, the children of Israel. And you can't say that he's, he's pleased with everybody now in the day that we live. Uh, but with many of them God was not well pleased. For they were overthrown in the wilderness. Uh, and we're going to talk about that in a few minutes. Shall we continue reading in verse 6? Uh, now these things were uh, our examples uh, to the intent we should not lust after evil things uh, as they also lest, lusted. Uh, well, these things, uh, what you read about, we read about things in the Old Testament scriptures and even now uh, we today in the New Testament scriptures, we have that to read about. But uh, uh, understand Stand in Paul's day, they, they, uh, this was new territory, the Gospels that we're reading now. Uh, he was writing this letter at that time. Uh, we can look back and read it now, 
and we can read about some things that happened that happened uh, but uh, Apostle Paul was referring to the people he was talking to about the things in the Old Testament scripture uh, God was not well pleased with them in the wilderness uh, now uh, he, he told us in verse 6 now these things were our examples uh, well uh, God does not uh, floor show, show people and, and try to make uh, 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 make them look bad and all that type of thing uh, but when things happen uh, uh, they, and they're recorded for us to read uh, we can take the good things that, and uh, help it build our lives and we can read about the bad things that they did and what happened to them that is a caution for us not to not to do the same thing and not to go the same direction uh, now these things were for our example to the intent we should not lust after evil things uh, as they also lusted uh, in other words read your bible uh, read the old testament scriptures you see what happened to them uh, you see the trouble that they had to go through because uh, they entered into certain uh, certain evils that did not please the lord well, shall we read verse 7? Uh, Neither be ye idolaters. Uh, don't worship idols. Uh, and I can take that in many different directions, but don't worship idol gods. Uh, well, well, the word of God, one of the commandments is that uh, we should not have uh, no other God before him, before our God. Uh, so don't worship idols. That, that can, that can, that's as plain as I can make it. Uh, idol gods. And I'll even take it this far. Don't make idols out of your own possession. <coughs> don't make idols out of even your own children uh, or whatever you have. Don't make an idol out of it. Uh, realize that there is only one true God. Uh, uh, shall we read that again? Neither be uh, idolaters, uh, as were some of them, uh, as it is written, the people sat down to eat and drink uh, and rose up to play. And that is in the Bible. Uh, uh, when Moses went to uh, uh, went up in the mountain to rec and receive the law, uh, the children of Israel got impatient and, and they talked Aaron into uh, building them a golden calf and they worshipped that, that golden calf. Moses was gone so long. Uh, so they thought they would just do it themselves and make them make their own God so they'd have something to worship. Uh, well, you got to watch yourself. Uh, not just have something to worship, but know that you're supposed to worship the one, the true, and the living God. Uh, understand that. Regardless to what comes up or what happens in your life, you worship the true and the living God. Uh, don't worship idols. I can't make it any plainer that than that. And Apostle Paul uh, can't make it any plainer than that. Uh, they rose up to play. Uh, verse 8 reads, Neither let us commit fornication, uh, as some of them committed, uh, and fell in one day three and twenty thousand. Uh, three and twenty thousand. That means twenty-three thousand people fell in one day uh, because they uh, they flaunted themselves before the before God. Uh, you got to understand, God does not please with them some things. Uh, well, he's not as vicious to us as he was in the Old Testament scripture to some of them. Uh, well, he had to prove himself, and I'm not going to try to uh, look through the, the eyes and mind of God, but God did what he did. I do know one thing. Uh, he got their attention. Uh, 23,000 people failed because uh, they went that, uh, that, that direction that God was not pleased with. Uh, shall we read in verse 9? Neither let us put Christ to the test, uh, as some of them also tested him, uh, and we was, uh, were destroyed by serpents. Uh, they uh, don't put Christ to the test. Uh, well, uh, what, what is he talking about in that section of scripture? Uh, uh, they uh, were... Uh, Moses put up a serpent. Uh, you got to understand, serpents came in the camp where they were and began to bite them, and many of them perished. Uh, and God instructed Moses to uh, uh, make a serpent and, and put it up on uh, 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 up high on a pole where they could see it. Uh, and all they had to do was look up at that serpent and live. Uh, and many of them were too hard-hearted to do that. Uh, they wouldn't look up, uh, and many of them perished uh, in one setting. Uh, neither let us put Christ to the test, uh, and some of them also tested him, uh, and were, were destroyed uh, by serpents. Uh, neither murmur ye, uh, as some of them 
also murmured and were destroyed by the destroyer, destroyers. We have to be very careful not to murmur ourselves. And I, you know, I, I'm the first to admit I got a problem when I see things ain't going right or I feel like I'm being mistreated to, to really uh, maybe mumble about it. I won't say anything out in the open. You can get that, you can get that through your head. I won't say anything and, and try to discredit anybody uh, to, to anyone else. But I get off by myself. I get to mumbling about it. Uh, and that's one thing we got to work on. Uh, uh, the word of God said in, in verse 10, Neither murmur ye, uh, as some of them also murmured, uh, and were destroyed by the destroyer. Uh, many of them murmured and were destroyed. <coughs> Shall we read in verse 11? Now all these things happen unto them uh, for examples, uh, and they were written for our admonition, uh, upon whom the end of the age were come. These things, what you read about in the Old Testament scriptures and uh, all through the Bible, what you read about uh, was for your examples. Uh, well, uh, the, th the negative things they did, uh, that's your example not to do such a thing. Uh, or the good things that happened to them when they, when they served uh, the true and the living God, uh, that's your example. Uh, if they were blessed because they did something, uh, when you do it, believe me, you're going to be blessed as well. Uh, when they were blessed for keeping the commandments of God, well, God will bless you for keeping his commandments as well. Uh, just standing up and doing what he told you to do. Uh, well, uh, that, is, that was verse 11. Uh, verse 12 reads, Wherefore, let him that that uh, thinketh he standeth take heed lest he fall. Uh, number one, you got to realize you can't stand all by yourself and alone. Uh, you need the spirit of the living God to make you stand. Uh, therefore, wherefore, let him that thinketh he standeth take heed lest he fall. Uh, never get the big hand and start thinking you know it all or you have it all or you got this thing figured out to a T. Uh, you got to humble yourself and know that everything is about God and nothing really is about you or myself. Uh, you got to get that in your spirit. Uh, wherefore, I'm reading it again. I want it to sink in your spirit. Uh, let him that thinketh uh, he standeth. Take heed lest he fall. Uh, when you think you have it made, take heed now. Uh, when you think everything is going well for you, take heed. Uh, let me let you know something. Uh, when you know you're being watched and when you know that, uh, uh, that uh, you're in tur a turbulent situation, uh, you're more cautious. Uh, uh, or you walk a little more circumspect. Uh, uh, but when you think everything is going good, that's when you really need to take heed. Uh, because that's when you can fall. Uh, something can come out of anywhere and slip up on you uh, and cause you to fall. Take heed uh, lest you fall. Uh, verse 13, there have no temptation taken you, but such as uh, is common to man, uh, but God is faithful. Uh, get that now. Uh, uh, every temptation that you go through or that I go through uh, is already been uh, uh, been gone through by somebody in the on this in this world. Uh, you got to understand there is no temptation taken uh, you, uh, but such as is common to man. All of them. Uh, the devil got many temptation. He brings temptations for, in all kinds of ways. Uh, some of us he tempts us with money, and some of us, he tempts us with the opposite sex, and some of us, he tempts us with power, and, and some of us, he tempts us with, uh, uh, with, with thinking we're too low, or whatever the case may be, uh, but I want you to know, all temptations, everything that you go through, uh, someone else has already gone through it, uh, verse, uh, uh, in the midst of uh, verse 13, uh, but God is faithful, uh, you have to understand that, get that in your spirit, uh, regardless to what you go through, God is faithful. It's not about you being faithful, although we should be faithful, but you have to know that God is faithful. Everything he said, he will do. Everything that he said he was going to do for you, he will do. God is faithful who will not permit you uh, to be tempted above that ye are able. Uh, well, I'm glad he's faithful. Uh, I'm glad he knows.
know is my temperament. Uh, why? Because I don't even know it myself, and you don't know yourself completely. Uh, you may think you know yourself, and oh, I wouldn't do this, and I wouldn't do that. The same one, if you get in the right temptation, and, and everything line up together, that same one that did all that talking, many times is the one that falls flat. Uh, so you better watch yourself, and uh, uh, quit saying what I won't do, and this and all of that, and realize, uh, and say, with the help of God, uh, I will stand. With the help of God, I, I can make it. With God's help, I, I will go through anything. But you better put that emphasis on God and not yourself. Because you will, well, temptation comes. I've told you about it many times. That's what the devil tries to do. Just like a finely tuned gear. He tried to get the temptation lined up with the weakness. If he can get temptation lined up with weakness and get you going down his road, he is very satisfied. I want you to know God loves you, my friends, and he's there to protect you. He's there to make everything all right for you. God is faithful. Get it in your mind and get it in your spirit. God is faithful who will not permit you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will with the temptation also make the way of escape. When Satan tempts you, God has a way of escape for you that ye may be able to bear it. And that's the thing. You got to take the way of escape. I don't care what comes. God has an escape route there for you. Oh, he's going to do it so you'll be able to bear it. Verse 14, wherefore, my dearly beloved, flee idolatry. He put emphasis on that two, three times in this chapter. Flee idolatry. Flee it. Don't worship idols. I speak as a wise man. Judge ye what I say. I speak as two wise men. I'm not speaking to folks that, that, that can't figure this out. I, I'm speaking to wise men. Judge ye what I say. Think about what I'm saying. Weigh what I say. And judge it. Judge the matter. Well, number one, if you judge it correctly, you won't fall into a whole lot of things that you would normally fall into. Temptation is there. What did I say? That's what the devil does. He wants to get the temptation lined up with the weakness. If he can get it lined up with the weakness, uh, he can make the gears turn. Uh, but God, uh, he's faithful. Uh, when the temptation comes, uh, he'll make a way of escape. Uh, if you let him, he'll make a way of escape. Uh, it's your job just to take that escape route. Uh, I want you to know that I love you, my friends. Uh, I love you with the love of the Lord. Uh, if you would like to talk to me for any reason, uh, if you would like to ask a question about this ministry uh, or ask a question about uh, about the subject matter that we are studying. Uh, you can write me at the Word with Chester Ministries, uh, Post Office Box 200483, uh, uh, San Antonio, Texas 78220. Uh, you can also reach me at my website, uh, www.poemsbychester.com. Uh, remember, I love you, my friends. Uh, I love you with the love of the Lord. Uh, God bless you.